In my previous video, some people replied that they agreed with the statement that evil was the price to be paid for freedom. But hear me out here. The price has been paid, if that's the case. Because look around, evil is all around us. But are we actually free? See, to accept that statement, it kind of implies that we're not restricted, but we absolutely are. The brain itself limits consciousness, evidence of which can be seen, for example, in cases like sudden savant syndrome. That is when people who suffer left brain injury suddenly develop astonishing new talents in like art and math and science that they didn't have before their trauma. So how does damaging your brain suddenly give you access to these latent abilities if the brain isn't limiting something that you were already capable of doing? in the first place. Similar things have also been reported with people who've had near-death experiences. People who have been declared brain dead, the brain is showing no activity, come back reporting having access to knowledge that they did not have while they were still in their bodies. They come back reporting an overwhelming sense of peace, of oneness with the entire universe, feelings of unconditional love. They felt that while they were outside of their bodies and then that was taken away when they re-entered their bodies. Doesn't that imply that we are being limited in some way? Why do I need mind altering drugs or to leave my body to feel unconditional love and oneness with all things? But meanwhile, being able to perform like extraordinary acts of violence and evil, that doesn't get filtered out. That's left in there. Doesn't that feel weird to you? That feels weird to me.